Welcome to Acrolicious Arts and Crafts by the Joanna. In this video today, I will be testing Vivid Intense Fluorescent Paints by Color Art with a couple of Vivid Intense Opal Paints by Color Art and I just wanted to see how they will react and how they will dry in the black background paint. For the background, I'm using Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And here you can see me in the reflection, obviously, <laughs> and my phone. But yeah, so I tilted the canvas and I spread the paint all over the canvas. And then I torched uh, the bubbles, obviously. Adding a little bit of paint on the edges, so all the sides would be covered. First I decided to layer in light opaque color and I went with Terracotta by Artists Loft level 2 paint uh, just to brighten up uh, the colors that I would be layering on top of it. And then I'm going with Vivid Intense Opal Red by Color Art, layering it on top of Terracotta. Then I'm going with Fluorescent Coral by Color Art. Very, very pretty shade. Then goes Fluorescent Pink. Then I'm going with Fluorescent Red Violet. Another layer of opal red. And last but not least, fluorescent blue green. Probably my favorite shade of the whole fluorescent line. By the way, you can use code TASHA223 on their website to get 20% off of all of their products. Look at those awesome cells! Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, honestly. <laughs> this was one of the tests for my lacing pour method or technique, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm working on a digital guide right now, so I would uh, have the recipe and all my tips and tricks to get this kind of effect uh, for the pour. It would work for Dutch pour and the swipe, so stay tuned. I will be announcing it here on YouTube and on other uh, social media platforms like Instagram. Uh, make sure you follow. Look at that up close. Well, let's see how it dries and I'll get back with the result. All right, check this out. And this is the natural sunlight. The, the middle part of the Dutch pour looks awesome and very, very bright. 
uh, the edges not so much but I think that's because of the black paint and here's how it looks under the black light I am so happy well probably next time I wouldn't use the black background because it definitely makes the colors a little bit dull but next time I will try some other background colors so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't yet and thank you for watching